What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Planet Coaster Career Mode series. Um, it's been a minute since I've recorded some Planet Coaster, but it feels good. It probably doesn't feel like a minute for you guys. Uh, but yeah, it's been like a, a week or two, actually, since the last time I got to record some Planet Coaster. I'm now in California, so... Uh, the only downside is I do have to record in 720. It is not going to be the 1080 60 FPS that you're used to. Um, it's just the this computer can't really handle the 1080 60 FPS just because, you know, this game isn't fully optimized uh, at the moment. But hopefully we get there one day and we'll be able to record that from here. But it should only be like this for like... A week or two and then we can get back to the 1080 60 FPS a lot of people aren't gonna care about that but I figured I'd throw that out there and that is why uh, yeah it, lo it might look a little different but I'm happy to be back I'm happy to be back playing some planet coaster I got so excited about this series I recorded so many episodes and then I was like you know deprived of playing career mode because I was like you know I, I have a nice backlog I, I need to uh, Focus on some other YouTube things, and, and now the backlogs kind of ran dry, and now here we are. Um, back in Pirate Cove. We're working on the hard mode star over here. Pay off all loans. We have one loan. Reach a monthly profit of $4,000. As you can see, last video, we pulled in $2,600 and uh, got the medium checked off right there. I'm trying to think of what... I've kind of learned. Uh, I think one of the main thing is, let me pause it. Let me take this a little bit slow here and try to try to do this right. But I think one of the main things I've learned is that the reason my staff is eating up all my money is because I have too many uh, and I should be training them. Uh, I didn't really know much about training, uh, you know, employees and stuff before this. So, okay, we got one up. Uh, Corey Hoffman's up, and so we're gonna do another one. Who's at the happiest right now? Uh, we're gonna train another one, and then we're going to fire two of them, right? How do you fi fire, delete? We're gonna delete that guy, and then we're gonna delete this guy. Uh, and then we're also gonna go to vendors. I don't know. I mean, you can train the vendors, increase happiness, higher, higher salary. Oh, that's right. I have never done this, so just bear with me for a second here. Um, let's go 140. We'll go 140 on these uh, because we did train them a little bit. And we'll continue to train these two janitors. I just can't. It's much better to pay this person 140 than to pay two more people $240 on top of these people's salaries. Uh, somebody did mention it in the comments uh, that I should be doing this. And it's a good idea, man. It's a good idea. So this poor guy, first of all, let's definitely train him because he's our only one. We haven't had many rides breaking down, but we can play it now. Um, maybe if we go back to janitors. Okay, these guys are still here. These guys are still here. Uh, oh, okay, there he is. That's so sad, dude. He got fired, man. He got fired. Look at him. He has to walk out of the park. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. That's terrible. Okay, so our goals. We need $4,000 profit a month. We're at 481 right now, and it's September 11th. Uh, let's see kind of what the park overview is telling us. I'm not queuing that long to go on Golden Treasure. Pause. This was something else that I've kind of learned. The fact that this thing wraps so long around and then continues to wrap down here. If we can make this just, you know, end right against this, you know, wall here instead of wrapping a little bit more. Maybe the, the guests will think it's not as long as it is because I think they see a long queue and they just kind of avoid it. Um, this is going to delete people off of our path and I'm, a, I'm sad about it, but I think it's going to be worthwhile. So we're going to delete this. We're going to delete these. We're going to delete this and then we need to lower this if I'm not mistaken. We can lower it. We're obviously going to 
you know, take out that rock, but this should shorten it at least a little bit, and hopefully that does something. Can I select these rocks? It feels like I can't select that. Okay, good, perfect. Uh, let's go back and pass really quick. Um, which one do we have? The Q, we had the wooden. We also have to go down here. Well, let's make this a little bit bigger. We have to go down here, railing on elevated, railing on ground Q, ground path. Let's just check those all for right now. Make sure just keep it, keep it uh, in line. And then we need to work our way down here and get rid of this wall. So if we go to edit, we're editing the wall now. We could delete, I think. Are we editing the right wall? Sandstone wall top, yeah, perfect. Okay, good. Um, so this one can get split from the building. Hit X, bring it back a little bit, perfect. I mean, all this stuff, doesn't much matter, but if I didn't do it, believe me, I will be—I would be losing my mind. Okay, there we go. Done, fixed, not really done, almost done. We just control X this, bring it right over here, grab it again, control X, done. Now we're done. Okay, so we did empty the queue, which is unfortunate, because that's our money maker, right? But hopefully a lot of these people will go back on. Hopefully in the long run, this will get people this will get people to, uh, you know, queue longer for it because it's not as long as a, uh, of a queue. Let's see what some of these people are that are saying that, you know, go to it, but then turn away. Hey, is that me? Hey, dude, that's me. Young Wolves. Yo, what are the chances? Yo, what are the chances that I just found my avatar out of 1,089 people? My brain is melting. Seriously though, what are the chances? All right, these, everybody, okay, this person. When park entry costs that much, I expect it to be cheaper. Well, I mean, I think a lot of people paid a certain amount of money. I'm okay with lowering this to 15, kind of like, you know, more customers, more profit, you know, type thing. Plus we wanna keep this thing running as much as possible. This month, because of that little path change, we're probably not gonna make as much money as we should be. We've, we're actually losing money. Park management, $1,900. Holy hell, why does that sound so high? Maybe because we did training this month? You know what, let's speed it up. Sometimes you gotta shake shake the cobwebs off the month. You, you know, the maintenance fees, uh, the fact that you know we train some people. Let's also make sure that everything's good. Look at all these top guest thoughts. Everything is chilling right now. Everything is chilling. We have 100% feedback that no one wants to leave. Uh, so I think it's one of those things where money is just gonna work itself out. Park management, so expensive, man. What is this? What is this, man? I'm not queuing that long to go on Wild Blue. All right, we'll take, we'll take the time for a second. Wild Blue is this one right here. Uh, it's $9.50. People aren't queuing that long. Uh, we can make it 10. Oh God, not 100, 10. Uh, then the queue should be a little bit lower, trying to find that medium, you know the drill. Uh, but this month, let's just let's call September maintenance month, and then next month we're gonna push for it. I don't really know. Let's go in here really quick. Actually, uh, shops and facilities. Let's go to souvenirs. Do we have any souvenirs? Okay, we don't. We do have an ATM though for $100. And if people pull out some money, you know, it might be worth it. It might be worth it, boys. I'm not gonna do anything crazy with the ATM. One right there is good. And I'll actually put another one somewhere. Let's uh, get off this build. I could have just, you know, X out of it, but. Getting back used to the controls again, so just bear with me for a little bit. We'll get it worked out. Okay, there's like no foot traffic over there, so I'm gonna avoid putting it there. Uh, let's see, let's see. Where's some foot traffic over here? I mean, we put it right there. Um, maybe like in the front of the park? Maybe? Like right when you walk in? You never know. That feels right. Feels right. It looks a little wonky with the path. These are open, right? Yeah, open. Finances, price. Should we have them? Running monthly costs, lifetime profit. 
we charge for them, right? People charge for ATMs. Are the people going to freak out about this? Is this going to be like the bathrooms? Is this going to be like charging for the bathrooms? Uh, I'm not queuing that long to go on Wild Blue. Not queuing that long to go on Victory. Okay. Let's speed it up. Let's get out of September. September's a down month. We're only going to make a couple hundred dollars. I'm calling it maintenance month. Uh, this park looks good at night, man. Shh, looks good at night, man. All right, so we made $500, but we went up in park rating. And our uh, park guests are staying right around the same amount. Okay. Do we want to build a ride? That's the question. We do have $7,000. Let's see what our profits are doing here. Let's watch the number a little bit. Okay, we're at $400, which is, you know, close to double what we made last month. Or did we make 500? I can't remember if we made 200 or 500. <clears throat> I don't know if this is going to be our $4,000 month. We're on October 7th and we've made almost $800. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Shops and facilities bringing in about 400. Rides killing it. We're already up to a thousand. It's October 10th, man. <clears throat> I don't know. Who knows? This might be our $4,000 month. Let's check. And remember, we are paying off loans. Okay, so last month we made $500. So we're obviously doing a lot better than last month. But I think we do need another ride. I think we need another ride to attract more money and more uh, interest. Uh, coasters. I mean, another coaster would be pretty crazy to do but we could we did kickflip last time we don't have like teacups we don't have many gentle rides maybe we need some gentle rides dude maybe teacups might be the uh the answer here okay this is really good though i mean we're gonna be pulling close to uh two thousand dollars our best month is 2600 which it looks like we're gonna fall short of um, but since we're not going to profit, you know, the full four, uh, grand that we need here, just remember as each month goes by, we're paying off bills. Okay. So it's not bad that months are going by and we're not cracking the 4,000 threshold. We will trust me. We will. Uh, I'm going to try to not put this super far away. Uh, I'm going to put it here and somebody also gave me a good idea said, uh, why don't you just take like the scenery from around uh, the rides and like put them by the queue, which I kind of did a little bit, but we could take it to even more of a bit of an extreme, you know? All right. So we're building the, the coffee cups, whatever the hell these things are called. Uh, let's go here. The dark red path. Let's get an exit going. That's good. And then we want to make the width a little bit wider. That was actually, was that perfect? I think that might've been perfect. We don't want railings or anything. We do want a curb though. Yeah. So we're replacing these just to round it out. And then uh, we will go with, let's go with like, what we could do here is like do this, right? We grab this bad boy. And then we can move it, but if we turn it, we can go here. Okay, there's that. And then let's call this one, <clears throat> uh, let's call this one, let's go here. And then we can go, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? <laughs> espresso spin i like it because they're little espresso cups okay espresso spin let's go Ooh, that looks fancy that looks fancy and then we'll go like you know some extravagant colors because this is an extravagant colored ride we got some light blue and red in there looks good there you go see turn the coming soon sign into the freaking ride sign baby baby okay Q. The Q is the stone. Let's continue to use the stone. Angle snaps a little serious. I'm, I'm good with 15. <clears throat> we don't want to make it too, too long. I also don't want it to, like, snap. There we go. There we go. 
I'm gonna waste some money here just because railing on ground Q. That should always be on, just because I like when the Q has a railing around it. So wasting a couple dollars, but <clears throat> nothing too bad. Okay, so back to this path really quick. What's going on here? Why is is there no end? I like a little cap. Yeah, let's get a little cap going. Ten dollars, not a big deal. Um we are still in September, or October, I meant, not not September. We already passed September. Uh, let's just go surface move on these. What is that, M surface move? Yeah, easy enough, M for move. Just getting these all over by the, the Q and less like from away from it, just because it'll raise our Q rating, the scenery rating, which is super important. Uh, pop these and look at how look at how fancy this espresso spin sign is. We gotta go here though. <clears throat> espresso spin, and then we can actually open it. And uh, what else? What else? Well, what we want to do is come out here and paint the ground. We do a little sand there, and then we can go a little size down, size way down. Get a little sand going. I mean, remember, we're still in the pirate theme, so we're going to stick by the pirate theme. Um, path. Can I delete one? You know what? I like it better there. I, I wouldn't like it if it wrapped right into it, so we'll figure out something. We can just, like, put some benches down over there. Uh, put some more shrubbery here, and then we can actually just, you know, corner this area off. Whoops. Because it's not costing us money to move this scenery, and I'm, uh, I'm assuming it's helping the, helping the ratings. Uh, so if we go here to scenery, we go to bench. Get these guys going out. One right there. Perfect. And then we'll go to bin. Get one out here, one out here. Just make it a little area in the corner under the trees. I wonder if this is gonna drag anybody out over this way. Okay, it looks like a family's coming. That makes sense. This like definitely stretched us a little thin. <clears throat> Maybe I should have went there. I don't know why I overlooked that, but I did. I like that staff only building. That's really cool. It's obviously, you know, it doesn't have much use. Uh, heading to espresso spin, there you go. There you go, the family's getting it in. I, Dude, I would not be opposed to putting another family ride. I would not be opposed to putting an, another, like, like a carousel. Uh, maybe up here, even. This could be the family section. We get the nauseating rides in here. Roller coaster. Uh, moderate type stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that was a bad idea to put it out there. I don't know if they care about that, though. I really don't. Okay, so last month we we made twenty three hundred dollars, which isn't amazing, but you know, it's not bad. I think with more rides like this, ticket price four fifty, we'll go five dollars. No one has any thoughts to say. Let's speed it up. Try to get some more customers over that way. You know what? Before I do that, before I do that, let's just. Oh, why is it saying coding issues? I really, really hope that. This recording isn't like skippy or anything. It shouldn't be, but I mean, I just looked over and it said encoding issues. Not too happy about that, but we'll we'll, we'll make it work. Um, okay, so we're gonna move this stuff over and out of the way, right? And then we're gonna go to terrain. We're gonna go to grass. We're gonna go size up. We're gonna do the same thing over here, but we're gonna do it with the uh, carousel. And then instead of deleting this, this is good scenery that we basically get for free. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to push it to the side. We're going to go rides. We're going to go carousel. Uh, and then, yeah, why not? Right there, right? Doesn't seem like a bad idea. And then we can have the queue kind of wrapping around. So if we place the entrance there and then place the exit here. And then we get the path going. I just want to do like a little type T thing, I guess. Oh. You know what? Let's, let's, uh, can we move this? 
Okay, we did move it. Right here feels better. Um, because then I could place the exit like over here and then place the entrance up here and then go back to this path and then we could just stretch this out. Obviously, we want the same width. But it seemed like it wanted to go along this path a little bit, so let's just make it go along this path. And we can go there. And then we can go Q, wooden Q. And this is a this is kind of a strange thing, so hmm. What can we do about that? That's the thing, the Q is kinda gonna Oops, what happened there? I'm totally okay with that, because then I'm thinking we can do some scenery in there. Man, that is that is weird looking. But, but if we go to scenery, can we go blueprint? Is there anything... Guys, the freaking blueprints on the... Uh... By order of the queen. That's really cool. Fortunately, it's like a fairy tale type thing. Fortunately, it's a fairy tale. A watery. Ooh. I mean, that's not a pyre. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, I like this. I like this. That's the. That's actually the pirate. That's the guy right there. Two hundred and thirty dollars. It looks good, man. It looks good. So what we're gonna do is actually, can we take this? If we just move it more in to like the queue, so the queue almost wraps around it. I like it. And then if we get this sign, then we move this. Damn, we're almost at 25 minutes already. I've been trying to do 25 minute episodes here. Uh, you know what? Let's pop it back here. Seems a little bit better little bit more out of the way we can get some greenery back here in front of the uh, uh, the carousel why can't okay we're good um, let's just go with let's just go with uh, sea biscuit Express sea biscuit circle damn it why Sea biscuit. Period. <laughs> I like it. Just sea biscuit. I like it. It sounds way more intense than it actually is. Uh, let's go with like a light color, and then the sign can be like, you know, dark, dark, and then the out outline. Nope. The outline could be like a dark. Feels right. Feels right, man. Sea biscuit. Okay, and now all the stuff that we moved away, we can kind of move back into place. You know, not completely where it was, but we'll make it look nice. We'll make it look nice. Trust. Trust me. We will. All these kind of can't like go in front, but maybe one of these blocks the sign totally. Oh God, what happened? How did that happen? How did it happen, mate? But yeah, I'm curious to see what kind of profit we uh, are pulling in now. I'd never open this. We gotta get people coming this way. Okay. We're just going C Biscuit. Is that how you spell biscuit? I hope so. I hope so. Uh, gonna go M here and then M on this little rock. Bring that over. And we got some, these are like, we need to dupe these because these are important. These are actually gonna be like sitting around this. I'm okay with some leaves in the pond and stuff. Is that too many in there? Hold on. Oh, I actually think that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Ding, 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 ding. I'm okay with the overgrown look here. A little bit.
Okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I think this looks really nice. Um, okay, we got the janitor coming. That's about it. It is open. So, open for business. What's the scenery rating? 100. Look at that, dude. We barely spent any money. What's the scenery rating over here? 41. That's trash. That's hot trash. You know why? It's because we have that. We did spend money. Uh, who am I kidding? We spent money. All right, let's get this scenery rating up, and then, um, you know, we'll check the numbers and all that stuff. Okay, scenery. We got to get some scenery on the teacups. Uh, scenery Ahoy. Oh, this is sick. I don't know if I downloaded this or not. How much is this? $460? I think we could swing something like this. You know what, dude? This would be such a good end piece. Plus, it'll be close enough. It'll be close enough to the um, scenery where it's gonna it's gonna count, you know. Let's get the trees behind the sign. I really like how that looks behind like the sign. We can also wrap these. Very uh, very theme park esque when you do stuff like this. It's like obviously they planted them here to grow around the ride to kind of you know emphasize the merchandise okay so perfect little thing right here scenery ahoy if we just flip this guy around let's get this out of the way if we flip this guy around go angle snap off just so we can get it lined up nice Bam, right there. We even got some... Excuse me? Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Sorry, redo. I didn't understand that. I didn't understand that it was... Uh, Where did it go? Oh. Um, it's elevated, I guess, because of this ship. So what we're going to do is drop it down just like that. I'm going to hit X. We're going to go world axis. We're going to bring it in a little bit. Then we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to take some sand. It's way too much. Oh, no. How do you redo? How do you redo? Shh, nothing happened. Nothing happened. We're fine. The trick is just to get the pedestal under the pirate just out of the way a little bit. Okay, this looks good, man. This looks good. Okay. Now, let's not get crazy with Control Z. Let's not get crazy. So, we're going to paint sand all in here and surround the area a little bit. I mean, no, no one's really going to see back here, but don't to get too crazy. Okay. That looks good, man. Hopefully that helped the scenery rating. Espresso spin. 100%. There it is. Okay, so we're reeling in the scenery ratings on these new family rides, which I think is good. I think any help that these family rides can get is going to, you know, make a big difference. It would be cool to have some foot traffic down here if we can get some more rides over here. So, monthly profit, $3,222. Right? Dude, we were close to 4,000 without really even trying. And if we look at our finances and we look at our loan, we're 39%. And what I can do is up, we can actually pay it off. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. That checks off, that checks off one of the things. Pay off all loans. And now all we have to do is reach a monthly profit of $4,000. The fact that I just spent, you know, $6,000 isn't going to hurt us um, with uh, monthly profit, you know, because it's not going to go against that. That was in our bank already. Uh, so the monthly profit, guys, who knows? Maybe we'll hit, maybe we'll hit uh, $4,000. We did pull in our best month last month, and we also added a ride or two. I don't really know when the month ended or whatever. So we got Espresso Spin and we got Sea Biscuit um, popping off. 100% scenery rating. Uh, we were appealing to teenagers and stuff because that's what we marketed to. Look at this line for Kickflip, man. It's full. The queue is full. Let's go $9 on Kickflip. Uh, the queue shouldn't be full. 
Not queuing that long. Let's go seven dollars. You know what? Maybe bring this back down to eight. This one is ten. See, man, Wild Blue's pulling ten. That makes me feel okay putting this at nine. But I am gonna call the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like. It helps me out a ton. Please leave a like if you're enjoying the series. I am enjoying the series. I know the people that are commenting are always saying, you know, I'm loving this series. I'm loving the series. But uh, people leaving likes on my Isaac episodes has grown that series to to like a number I didn't even think was possible at this stage of my YouTube career. But um, it's been absolutely humbling. So thank you guys all for the support, whether it's on this uh, series or the Isaac series, but yeah, seriously. Thank you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed until next time. Stay safe. Stay up. Peace out.